Hello YouTube and fountain pen people, this is Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron and I am back with you today to review the Girologio 24 pen case. I ordered this off of GouletPens.com, this is not sponsored by them, I'm just a fan. So this leather bound pen case is in the brown coloration, it was $55.99 as of January 2021. It is made in India and is extremely high quality as I will show you as I stuff it full of pens. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. I get to show you this case opened up, but first let's talk about the size. So this is an Opinel number eight. This is a French folding knife, very classic design, um, walnut handle. But anyway, let's just sit that up there. And this is a Caveco Supra. This is actually the special edition a uh, fire blue finish with a brass finished clip. Yeah, gorgeous. So let's set that on there while I grab a ruler. Oh, just so happens I have a Rhodia dot pad as well in the A5 size. Give you an idea there. Okay. But we are looking at, uh, what is that? Let's call it 18 centimeters, seven and a quarter inches by 22.5 centimeters or right about nine inches. For depth, we have right around 55 millimeters, 5.5 centimeters. I yeah, call it two and a quarter inches deep. Okay, so a fairly sizable pen holder, and it does hold a full complement of 24 pens. There's some brass fittings, <laughs> fittings, some brass accents on here. There's a snap button, which contains the last part of the zipper, so you don't have to worry about getting it all the way zipped closed. It will zip all the way closed and tuck away neatly. There's also a brass zipper pull on here. I think it was a nice touch. You don't have to open this to get the case open, but uh, I like to anyway. So, uh, as you can see, there's a little padded, well, not quite padded, but velour divider in here. Everything has this sort of um, velvety, faux velvet finish on the inside. This is made in India. Um, so I stuck just about any pen that I thought might be challenging to fit in here. Um, this is in fact most of my pens. Um, so I'll just go through really quickly and explain what each one is. I'll just name it for you. So here's an Asa Wizard. This is the Monteverde Giant Sequoia. This is a very large pen, fits just fine. Here's a Pilot Vanishing Point. This is the Conklin Crescent Filler, the Mark Twain edition, I believe. It has the Mark Twain signature on the clip. This is a Pen BBS 350 uh, Faber Castell Loom. Almost forgot the name of this one. This is the Conklin Classic in the Rainfall Finish. Um, Caveco Sport in the Cognac. This is a Conklin All American Fountain Pen in the Brownstone Finish. This is a Nemesine Singularity. Bet no one's talked about this in a while. Um, that is in the Coral Finish. You know what? Let me lift these up so you can see them better. Um, below that is the Pilot Lucina. Uh, this is a. Pentel brush pocket brush pen just for good measure for them artists out there Have a noodlers Conrad hiding below the flap here um, This is a moon man um, Little capsule pen. I don't remember the exact model number uh, Twisby eco in the clear demonstrator. This is a Conklin Duragraph right next to a Jinhao 159 an emulation of the Mont Blanc 149 uh, right next to that is the Platinum, oh sorry, Pilot Prera. Sorry, trying to get a handle on these here. This one's actually a Pilot Parallel Pen. I was very shocked to see that it fit just barely in this case and doesn't, doesn't really stick out. Like it, it genuinely fits, but genuinely just barely fits. This is a Pelican Twist Pen. Um, has a very unusual shape, that's why I threw it in here. You can see it's sort of triangular. Um, very interesting pen, marketed for children actually. Um, Esterbrook SJ, this is the smaller version. 
this is a Schaefer No Nonsense. This is a pen from the 80s. Um, Noodler's Nib Creeper, I believe this is called. And then a Pilot Kakuno, just for good measure. So you could see a full roster of 24 pens fits in here. Everything from really giant pens. This is the size of 149. This is the giant Sequoia from Monteverde. Conklin All-American, no problem. Um, girth and length are pretty irrelevant to this case. Um, you'd have to have some really monstrous pens not to fit in here. Um, likewise, the very small also fit as well. These elastics are very snug at the moment. Um, they may loosen over time, but right now they are totally sufficient to hold smaller pens like the Caveco Sport and the little Moon Man. Um, gosh, I don't remember what this is called. I'll put it down um, in the comments or something. But anyway, this case fits 24 pens just beautifully. Seals up, no problem. Before I've even zipped it, you can see it, everything's still at the proper angle. It's not like belching out. It's not, you know, holding itself open. Um, I think the finish on this leather is very nice. Um, it's very supple, very soft, as you can see with the light changing up here. Um, oh, look at that. It has a little scratch on it already. I've had this on my desk for a couple days now. Um, so yeah, maybe not the most durable thing, but taking on a little damage, in my experience, only makes leather seem nicer. Um, the fragrance of this thing is not very strong. Um, I think it's a very highly processed leather, honestly. But um, yeah, Kira Logio, 24 pen case. Beautiful item. Um, pretty nice stitching, not like double stitch, not reinforced or anything. So yeah, gentle light use. Um, if you're going to pen shows, this should be just fine for your needs. Throw this in a backpack and uh, yeah, don't even worry about it. Okay, so I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more fountain pen content. I do have some stuff coming up. I've got a review of this Caveco Supra because uh, I love it. Spoiler alert. I also recently got some pens from India. Here's another Asa Wizard in a yellow and black finish came with a little handmade pen sleeve so if you like this kind of thing and want to see more please subscribe to my channel and uh yeah that's all for today i've been joe you've been watching ink and iron thank you so much for joining me and i'll catch you on the next video bye